Art and science are actually very similar. They spring from the same source. Imagine you have an artist who is looking at a wonderful tree, or a waterfall, or even the mountains. He will be impressed by the beauty of the nature and the universe he is living in. He will use his creativity to make an artwork, to understand the world even further. A scientist will look at the tree, or he will look at the leaves. But he will ask the question, why it's actually the leaves are green? Or, where comes the water from, from the waterfall? Or he will ask, where the mountains are actually coming from? As you might see, as I said before, art and science are similar. They spring from the same source, from our curiosity to understand the world further. Only if you learn both art and science, you will learn both tools, all tools that are necessary to understand the world, and you can decide which tool is appropriate in any situation. Like the cell, in the cell culture, every cell has an office that will be the nucleus. Every cell has an energy producing place that can be the mitochondria. And such kind of place like this, where the machineries are working, you might be able to compare to the yard. Now, suddenly the economy changed. You cannot sell any more bread. What do you do? The only way is you sell your equipment and you buy new equipment, for example, to make donuts. The scientists learned to manipulate the cell to manipulate the metabolic pathway. In this way, we are able to make plastics like this, or oil. Or nowadays, we can make even hydrogen. So Toyota's new hydrogen care can be very environmental friendly, because we can produce everything in the cell. Drugs, hydrogen, plastics. And this is very important for our future. Not only art and science, also economy and science are closely linked. I talked before about hydrogen production. There are, in principle, two possibilities we can do. One is we make huge solar energy plants in Australia, and then we produce the hydrogen and bring it to Japan. The other possibility is we use hydrogen-producing bacteria, which is economically more friendly and suitable. We can go on. We can talk about ethics and science. There's a lot of talk about stem cells. Stem cells have a huge possibility, but at the same time they have a risk. We can create so-called perfect babies. But what is a perfect baby? And we have to teach our students this link bridge to create a really powerful, creative and good world.